welcome back. I have some thrifted things that I kind of want to go over. I've been collecting them the past couple weeks and I just want to share them with you guys. Some of these are also from a thread up purchase that I did recently. They're having a really good sale and I had been eyeing some pieces for a really long time and I did buy them even though <laughs> I told myself that I wasn't going to buy from thread up unless I knew the brands. I did buy some from brands I didn't know. So there's that. Anyway, let's get into these because there's quite a bit. A lot of these were purchases for spring and summer, so I had those things in mind. The first couple items that I found, I found these in person and I was looking for some basics. First of which is this tank top. It's a Sunday Best tank top, which I think is an Urban Outfitters brand. I have another tank top in this brand and it's one of my favorite. It's super soft, but I liked this one because it was a light brown, which I'm trying to incorporate some browns. It's hard for me to find like summer color browns. So this one I thought fit really nice. It's like a cool tone. And then I was looking for like ballet inspired tops. So I found this wrap one and I thought I just picture wearing this over like a dress or like over another top, maybe not on its own, like maybe at like a tank top or something. And then this one, I just wasn't sure about. <laughs> this one reminded me of something that I would have liked in elementary school. It has like these kind of balloon sleeves and I liked the detail here. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to wear it like in terms of like with a bra or not. So going to have to experiment there, but I believe these were all... $1.99. They were on sale, which is also why I picked them up because I was like, oh, I like the materials. This one's a tinsel, which I really like. So yeah, a couple of basics to kind of round out my wardrobe. I don't have a ton of tops like this that aren't just like a t-shirt. The rest of this is from my thread up purchase and I was looking specifically at like spring jackets or jackets that I can wear in spring and summer. I don't have a ton, especially like short jackets. I pretty much have my trench coat, that's my spring jacket. And then I have athletic jackets, so not quite what I'm looking for. So I did find three, and the first one is this white one. This one, I have no idea what material it is. It's lined in, I'm assuming, polyester, and the outside is probably a cotton poly blend. It feels kind of like a sweatshirt, but I've been really liking this kind of open, jacket style. I feel like it's really cool and modern and I've been looking for a cream or a white jacket because I don't have anything like that to to pair with more neutrals but also just lighter colors like I like that more. This one is the brand Janssen which again I couldn't find when I looked. I could only find like sport jackets with this brand which I don't I don't believe this is a sport jacket. It's heavier than I expected but I do think it will still be really good for spring and it'd have to be a colder summer day I think to wear this but I see this more in the fall to spring range of wearing. This one I think was $7.99 at thread up after the sale. Another one I picked up was this black linen rayon blend blazer and I think it's a little bit too big for me and it's a little too shapeless on me but it was final sale, so I'm not returning it. And I will probably try to wear this. I was looking for an oversized blazer, but I think I just want something with a touch more structure. But I'll play around with this until I find something, I guess, like that later in the year. I didn't have very many oversized blazers or jackets or anything like that, so I wanted to have at least one option that could work for summer. I think what bothers me about this one is that I wish the button was like higher. Like I wish it went here instead of all the way low. It's like almost at the belly button, which I think is just an awkward length on my body. But we'll see. I think I'll still be able to style with this and it's definitely something I can throw over a dress. I think this one was also $7.99. The last jacket option I got was this navy one, and this one, I believe, let's see the comp. This one is a tensile linen blend, and it's by the brand Kobe Halperin, which I hadn't heard of, but I see that it's sold at Nordstrom, and it's, you know, not a cheap brand. What I liked about this was it's navy, the material, of course, but also that it was going to be kind of oversized, but still had style. Like, it had these sleeves that were ruched, in like a balloon way, which I thought was interesting. I also just liked that the button was cloth. Like, people should do that more. <laughs> I like that a lot. 
because then you don't have to decide on like brown or black to wear with it if it was like a brown button or a metal or something like that. It has some pockets as well, which is really nice, but it's just like a really nice light blazer that I feel like I can layer with a lot of things. And it's just a beautiful shade of navy. Not too bold, but not too dark. I feel like I can still wear it with black and it'll look good. This one was more expensive. I believe this one was $20 after the sale. So <sighs> definitely more of an investment, but it was what I was looking for. A nice breezy navy blazer. The last top that I found was this wrap linen top. It's from the brand Jessica Howard. It is 55% linen and then the rest is rayon and it is lined. This is a top that's supposed to tie in the back and I just have been looking for wrap tops. Tie tops, wrap tops, that's kind of the thing I'm looking for and especially like this kind of vest style I feel like it's really versatile. I can see it with a lot of different outfits, skirts, put it on a dress, put it on pants, like there's just so many things I feel like I can do with this. And it's another thing that I feel like is just like a very classic silhouette that I can dress up or down pretty easily. This I believe was $9.99. And then lastly, I picked up a couple skirts. One was this linen pink one. It's from Talbots and it is just like a nice, comfortable summer skirt has pockets. I can see myself wearing this casually a lot. It is kind of an awkward length I feel like on me. It's right where it hits like the widest part of my calf but I still think I can get some use out of it but I am considering if I should hem it to be like at the knee. This one was ten dollars and then the other skirt I found was this long kind of flared silk skirt. I've been looking for a silk skirt that's like a maxi skirt this one's almost maxi it's so close and it was only listed for ten dollars so i was like okay yeah i'll pick this up it'll just be a nice basic and it sits a little lower on my waist than i'm used to it's kind of more of a mid waist but i think that'll still work with a lot of the different things i want to pair it with i also just love silk because it's so easily tackable like just so many options <laughs> And again, this one I can just see myself wearing a lot because it's really thin and breezy and I think it'll just be really comfortable in the summertime. Last item I got, I got at the thrift store and this one was $8. I've been seeing a lot of like the cowboy and just Western trend and it's, it's not necessarily my style, but I do like elements of it. And I saw this hat and it's not obviously like a cowboy hat, but it does have that Western feel. It has leather straps to kind of hold it on your head and a little bit of leather trim. We've had a few sunny days and I've really wanted to have a hat because my fair, delicate skin is not used to sun. So that's why I decided to pick this up. I really liked the darker tan with kind of a really dark brown, almost black weave and I just thought it was cute. I thought it was a good way to add a little bit of the western trend into my <laughs> more minimal style without being too like corny or obvious. So um, with all of these items I kind of want to style them how I would wear them. So let's get into wearing some outfits. So this first outfit I have my tank top and skirt on. I've paired it with some Birkenstock wedge heels and this is just a realistic summer outfit for me when it's super hot this is what i would grab um it's not like the most styled outfit but it is realistic now for spring i would probably wear a sweater on top just have that option and then i would probably also swap out the wedges for a sneaker just because it's it's just more realistic for the weather it might still rain in the spring and then i've just added a little cream bag to stay in the color palette i actually really like this as a spring outfit i think it's actually super cute and a little more feminine but i do love it next i have the tank top back on i want to style it another way and this is just with some jeans. Over the top, I wanna pair my new cream jacket and I really like this. I think it's chic, but comfortable. It's almost like I'm wearing a hoodie, but it's just a little bit more elevated. <laughs> so this is a pretty realistic outfit for me. I also added the hat just for a little bit of pizzazz. The outfit was pretty bland, I would say. 
and the hat just gives it a little something extra. Next, I have the black skirt and the black wrap top. And as I said, the skirt goes a little lower on the waist than I'm used to, so it's a little bit more um, stomach showing than I normally would, but I do think it works, especially with the white jacket over the top. Kind of just pulls it all together. I've swapped the black top for the cream top, and I think this is very cute. Um, I love this top, actually, and it actually fit well with my nude bra, which I was worried about, but it totally worked. I added the linen blazer, and this is a very comfortable outfit that is still very polished, so it's nice to know that I have a more upscale outfit option that is the equivalent of wearing sweatpants. Then I've swapped for the linen top. This is how I imagined wearing these two pieces together as like a set. And I think this is uh, quite classy. My undone hair, it looks a little bit more casual, but yeah, I think this is definitely a dress me up kind of outfit. I added the cowboy hat again to try to dress it down a little bit to just see how I could wear it casually because I think inherently these two pieces together look very polished. And I actually like it. I kind of look like a, you know, a villain in a cowboy movie. Next, I have the tank top back on and I've added the navy blazer. I love this blazer so much. I've worn it a couple times already and the material is just so light, but it still has some structure to it. And I love the balloon sleeve and adding the cowboy hat is just like love it with this i think it's very cute and uh, that's all i have if you like this video please like and subscribe i hope you all have a fabulous day and i'll see you next week with another video just